ten nine puppy feet. You gotta play puppy feet, and then you can see in the chat they're saying, you know, Bill Fumaf can't lose with six six, just not possible. But of course the squeaky midget, he's gotta raise it up and be a jerk. I don't understand. I guess he can't play post flock poker. Post post flop poker. I've got spit in my mouth again every time I do these commentaries. I just get my mouth wells up with all the spit. And I don't understand it. But Bill Philmap has to fold. Oh, and what a shocker! Bill Philmap here once again with King Ten and the big blind. So much, so much for your RNG random number generator there, poker star. I mean, what are the chances of getting King Ten and the BB twice like this? I've just done some quick math that it's like seven or something, and uh, Bill Philmap completely whipped on this flop. Uh, but we got it all in from the underboss, who uh, you know thinks he can hit his flush draw, I guess. Um, and the guy calls an ace five, ridiculous. Poor play all around, poorly pay played on all streets by both players, and uh, he busts out in seventh. So Bill Philmap climbing up the money ladder. And uh, Bill Filmaff isn't afraid of heights, so, uh, you know, they're only going to get more money and higher up in the air, and I'll be washing more windows while... And then look at Squeak Midget here with the table talk. He says, that was the single biggest fish I have ever seen at the final table of any game. And I say, and Bill Filmaff says, thanks, Lee Jones, because you see, Bill Filmaff, uh, you know, Lee Jones says, uh... You know, these witty things when somebody busts out, like, you know, if a guy named Dorkathon busts out, he says, well, guess like you are you won't have to run 26 miles of Dork, Dorkathon. I love you, lovely Jones. Anyways, you just saw Bill Filmaff full Jack-10 there, and you may be wondering, you know, why Bill Filmaff did that, and Bill Filmaff thought his hand was no good because, uh, because of the collar and the short stack, and uh, he figured, you know, somebody's got a flush draw, somebody has a better Jack, maybe two pair, I mean... Somebody has to have Bill Philmap beat. I mean, a lot of people, they see C top pair and they are unable to fold it. But wow, what were they doing? I, wow. Bill Philmap would have won that. Um, Not going to say Bill Philmap played that wrong. But, um, oh, <laughs> I would have won. I... I would have busted the I would have busted the moolah and I could have wrapped again and I didn't and that well <laughs> I'm just venting um but Bill Philbaff is going to fold squeak midge is going to go all in we have a caller from a moolah who I should have busted and have all his chicks chips and uh we got the Cowboys versus Ace 10 of course the guy sees any ace freaks out pushes uh, that's no good. You're out of here, Amula. I should have had all your Mula or Chippos, as some people call them. And now we're seeing Bill Filmass' perfect secret system tournament strategy paying off. We got this dull blade guy with one BB pushing all in with it like a maniac with God knows what willy-nilly. Bill Filmass is going to check this down, probably bust this sucker out. And, uh, you know, Bill Filmass is a 10. This is probably good. So we're going to knock him out and go up another spot on the ladder of money. And, uh, yeah, we both got tens, and it's a uh, split. Damn, ten, nine! This is complete hit that all the tens were out. Inexplicable that you would get all the tens at case ten. And uh, the guy, uh, he should have been knocked out. He held only one BB and I bad better odds. And now Bill Philbaff's getting dealt. You know, crappy pocket deuces, basically worthless, especially that he raised. I can't play. Bill Philmath can't play that. And, uh, we go. Oh, Philmath on flop. King Jack, not suited. That's the Bill Philmath signature hand. And now you see why Bill Philmath, King Jack, not suited my signature hand. It's such a great hand because look at that. If I had had King Jack not suited, would have boated it up by the turn. Full house. But instead I get deuces, and you got this maniac with 10-9 get dribbling up when he had one BB left. That's complete, that's no random number generators pattern mapping is what it is. Bill Philbaff folding the ace five, no big deal. Every, you know, I'm not going to see the ace and freak out. Battle of the blinds now with a sunset strike. He'll probably be riding off into the sunset soon enough, but, uh, you know, we'll see how his hand plays out here. Uh, five, eight, seven, flop, bets, summon him out, calls, nine, let's see what he does, this is not, Bill Fumath is another ad appearing out of nowhere, Jesus Christ, 
These, uh, you're, oh my god, can you imagine in real life if these holograms, like, popped up on the table and hit you with a face? It's just ridiculous. So, uh, big potty here, I guess, 24K, Sunset Strikes thinking about it. He's probably going to bluff at it because, you know, he's basically pot committed here. What an idiot. He gets called, oh, way to bluff into a flush bunny, you moron. <laughs> Bill Philbath is uh, guaranteed a little bit more moolah thanks to the poor play of these donkeys who have no idea what they're doing and they're idiots. Uh, you know, no surprise though, Secret System, you know, if you buy my DVD, you'll find out how to play like me. Uh, Bill Philbath, uh, I guess I can try to limp here. Let's see if this squeaky midget uh, gets out of line. Uh, you know, he really should not raise and let's see a flop and play poker, but he doesn't. And that's, what an, I don't want to say asshole, but that's what he is, this squeaky midget. And, uh, this is really frustrating because Bill Philmath needs more chips and Dull Blade should have been knocked out. And I, I should be, you know, there should be three people left. Oh, Dull Blade's on, and squeaky midget's gonna call, of course. He's got the signature and he has Bill Philmath! I don't see how he can lose, he gets a jack! Oh, but he has pocket jack, so that's... That's really, I don't really understand how King Jack not so suited lost. I mean, that's a pretty bad beat. I mean, gee, I, I, I how can Bill, Phil, I got Cowboys. All in, Bill Philbeth's got the Cowboys. And, uh, you know, this this has got to work. I'm a huge overdog. He calls the threes. Yet again, these idiots calling with pocket threes with morons. Good flop, so. This is a Oh my god, this is such bull! I mean, this is never a sound of bad beat alarm! I've had so much spit, this has never happened! Sound of bad beat alarm! Oh my god! Poker Stars is gonna get an angry email! I can't believe this! There are so many reasons why this is bad! I don't I, I had the best possible hand, a huge overdog! I mean, the guy, oh my god! All right, here Bill Philmath has the mail from Poker Star saying that Bill Philmath finished in fourth place. That Bill Philmath finished in fourth place. No, I don't think so. So uh, Lee Jones and these other bull honkers and Poker Stars are getting a piece of my mind. They don't. They call his site River Stars for a reason, even though he sucked out of the turn. So Bill Philmath is gonna just tear him a new one, and he's gonna get what he deserves, which is victory. And I know as all my fans who are disappointed that Bill Philmath didn't win, but let me. Assure sure you it was probably a software bug a glitch in the system i mean this site just installed new poker games probably something's wrong and i purchased bad beat insurance is the other thing i have insurance preventing me against bad beats and i had a pair against a smaller pair that's the best situation that you could possibly have and it's not fair because the squeaky midget guy he had ace he had the cowboys as well and also i had cowboys earlier and everybody folded it's not fair i had there was too much full equity, and I didn't get no, I didn't get any plus EV out of my kings when I had them, and it's not fair. And anyways, the squeaky midget, he had kings, and he won with him against Ace Ten, and Ace Ten is a huge, that's a bigger favoriter than it is against, you know, the kings. I can't, I mean, the kings versus the threes, and yeah, I mean, it looks like the squeaky midget gets the grease, is what it looks like, and by grease, I mean there's bribery, and it's a collusion against with poker stars, and they're all to get me by rigging up action hands and to increase their rank so I'm gonna show them and Bill Philbath is gonna demand a tournament refund of both his buy-in and the entry fee and if Bill Philbath doesn't get it I'm gonna wage a campaign war against poker stars that's what Bill Philbath is gonna do and if they don't give me my tournament buy-in and entry fee back Bill Philbath is gonna have so many people hating the site if Bill Philbath tells people not to play on this site they won't because it's a terrible site. They're from the Isle of Man, some godforsaken England, like area island in the great United Kingdom with their kings and queens. But last I checked, this is America, and unless you're, you know, if you're American patriotic, you're not gonna support this site and their bullcrap queen, queens, English with, would you get kings? I mean, how ironic that the kings don't win in a land where they still have royalty. But I'm gonna completely kill both of you for magic zone, you all gonna- Lee Jones, you're a bastard, you're a scum, and I hate you, and you're terrible, and you're bald, and you don't have any hair, and you'll never afford any hair! You son of a bitch, you'll never get any hair! You'll never have happiness in your life, and you gotta give me my money back.